Hey guys, it's Brian with Retired at 40, and it's a cold, nasty, windy day here in Colorado, and against my better judgment, I'm going to buy a storage unit, uh, just so I can show you what you actually, in reality, can expect from a storage unit. Because they're not all good ones. So I've been on a pretty big luck streak on my storage unit purchasing lately. At the end of the last one, I kind of mentioned that you get a lot of trash in the storage unit. All right, we've got four minutes left and it's at $120. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 210 as my max bid. So with two minutes and 43 seconds left, I'm the current high bidder at 140. There's a few odds and ends that are gonna make up for what I'm paying for this unit, but just a couple things that really pique my interest. Um, there's some radio controlled plane stuff. There's a hard case right here. So someone just bumped it up to 200, but we're still the high bidder at 210. I don't think it'll go for much more than this. One annoying thing about this website is every time someone bids, it adds three minutes to the final time. So now it's at five minutes and 23 seconds. I've had quite a few people ask me which website I use. I use Storage Treasures. Um, it's not the cheapest website. You actually have to pay twice because you're paying sales tax in the, the place that you purchase it in. And you're also paying uh, a, a fee to Storage Treasures. But I like their setup. Um, the quality of their units is a little, usually a little bit better. Okay, so we're down to the last few seconds here. Bid is at 270. And look like we won. All right, so $270 for the final bid. If nothing else, this will be some cheap entertainment. Let's go figure out what's in it. All right, we are all paid up, and I just experienced one of the weirdest things I've ever experienced at a storage facility like this. So on the way in here, I had one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had at a storage facility. And apparently this is gonna be like the new thing that they do at storage facilities. It's all virtual, so you walk into like this commons area. And all there is is a computer screen and a camera and basically an ATM machine type thing. That you put your money in, you're talking to a guy in a different state uh, I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. Um, virtually, and they give you the information. There's a there is a, a supervisor here, but they come and cut the lock for you, and then uh, and then you get your storage unit. Really strange, a uh, little uncomfortable, but I guess I don't know. The world's just becoming less and less personal every single day that goes by. But let's go check out the storage unit. See if we can make our money back quick. There's a toolbox right here. Uh, not the greatest one. 15 bucks maybe. There's a little ship. But here's what I was after right here is all these planes. Because I'm really into radio controlled planes. And there's uh there's at least four in here. I'm guessing we're gonna find a whole bunch of them. There's a car subwoofer, a couple of really nice radio controlled cars in here. There's another plane. Here's another plane. I'm gonna try and make some room in here and try and get some inventory. Well, I'm making a little bit of progress. I haven't really found a whole lot that's worthwhile yet. Um, quite a bit of tools, lots of radio controlled airplanes, boats, uh, sailboats, and planes, a couple skateboards. Um, I've definitely made my money back, which is, so everything else I guess is just uh, gravy at this point, but I'm gonna keep digging. It's not a very nice day out, so I'm gonna try and load the trailer up and kind of uh, sort through it at home. So my suspicions were correct. There's lots of trash in here. There is some good stuff that I've come across, but a lot of trash. So I'm gonna show you the reality of storage units today. And I found 85 cents so far. This looks curious here. Nothing to write home about, but the box is really cool. 
It's all cleaned out. All right, we made it home with our trailer full of junk. So what can you expect in the average storage unit? Well, it's right here. It's about 60 to 70% garbage. And you sift through that so you can get to the good stuff. Here's all the garbage I already pulled out of here. So now I'm gonna go through all that 60 to 70% of garbage so I can get to the cream or the gravy as I call it, which is where the money's at. I'm just gonna take a minute and just soak in all of this reality right here. A lot of times I uh, think to myself, what was I thinking? This would be one of those cases. She gotta just keep digging. You never know what lies in the next box. Well, I guess I didn't learn my lesson because I just bought another storage unit. So that either makes me able to redeem myself or the biggest idiot on YouTube right now. Well, maybe not the biggest idiot. So I grabbed a few things that I kind of set aside uh, now that we've seen plenty of junk that I went through. I want to show you kind of the reality of what you're going to find. In the average storage unit, you're going to find way more junk than you're going to find good things. but. Obviously your goal is you kind of have to weigh out your time versus what you're going to make on the storage unit and uh, how much trash you're willing to sort through to find the stuff that's worth keeping. So I found a big RC car, um, another RC car. I found a couple of Spectrum um, remotes for RC cars. They're probably $50 a piece. This one, I'm not really sure. It is a big scale, so it's probably a couple hundred dollars. This is probably maybe 50 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure on this. It's not in real great shape, but I did find a box that had quite a few Xbox One games. Those are always a quick seller. Uh, some Xbox remotes, and I found an Xbox One console. Uh, I don't know if it works or not. And then I found another Xbox console, but it's obviously in pieces, so I'm assuming that it doesn't work. It could be sold as parts. And then I found this little train set, which is, uh, this is pretty cool. And this is its end scale. I looked it up, it's probably about $70, and it looks to be complete, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works. Here's a typical site in a storage unit, a bag full of clothes. There's probably dirty underwear and socks in there, I can almost guarantee you. But once again, I wanted to show you this video because I want to show you what you can realistically expect in most storage units. I really enjoy showing you guys my successes, but I also want to show you my failures. This box did have some good stuff in it. It's got a whole set of uh, Ryobi cordless tools, and they'll have to be tested to make sure that they work. Here's a grinder. But those, uh, I don't know, they're probably worth, all this stuff is probably 40 or $50. There's just kind of miscellaneous tools and things. I really like going through these type of junk drawer boxes because there's a lot of smalls in there. And by smalls, I mean something that's small that's uh, got a good, a good value to it. And they don't take up a lot of room to store. They're quick to sell. And you can have a whole box full of stuff to sell that really doesn't take up much room, but it's a, it's a lot of value in one small package. Another thing that I want to address is you need to have space to do storage units. I mean, look at all this. It fills up your house really quick and it can really just end up taking over your house if you're not careful. You have to remain really, really organized. Uh, you have to have a place to put all of your trash. That's a really important one. Now, how do you get rid of the trash? I have a trailer, so whatever I can't recycle or use in a different way, I'll take to the dump if I have to but you have to realize when you go to the dump, you're spending money and right now I think it's about a hundred bucks a ton to dump garbage. So what I really try and do is recycle everything I can. I recycle my steel, my aluminum, um, all the metals that I can. And my goal with that is usually to make enough money on the recycling to pay for the dump fee. Well, I hope this video helped you guys figure out whether or not you are even interested in buying storage units and Hopefully it gave you a few pointers on how to buy storage units and what to expect when you actually get into the storage units. Don't forget to tune in in the next couple of weeks and I'll have an update on that storage unit that I purchased during this video. Uh, take a minute to subscribe, click the bell to get notifications to get future videos that come out. Join our new Facebook group that I started. It's uh, Facebook Groups Retired at 40 Live Life Simple. 
I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. The country is kind of in a strange time right now. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple, and we'll catch you next week. <laughs> Stop. Here, I'm gonna record you.